It's so hot outside. This is raspberry! <laughs> this gig is freaking insane. <laughs> Just watch the video. And comment and like and subscribe. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, happy Valentine's Day by the way. Um, today is a day full of chocolates, love, and roses. I really don't know, but I came dressed for the occasion. I have nothing planned for today, but I really wanted to film a um, Valentine's Day vlog, and then that way you, can, you guys could have like an idea of what I do on Valentine's Day, because I really don't do anything. But anyway, I made a few plans i came up with a few ideas of what to do on valentine's day since i normally don't have any plans i really don't have much to do but i um came up with the idea of having you guys follow me on valentine's day so like see what i get up to not that i'm gonna get into anything but <laughs> so i really want to try dunkin donuts just came out with their valentine's day themed donuts so they're heart shapes and they also have this valentine macchiato i think it's like red velvet or something so i'm gonna try that so right now i'm gonna go to the dunkin donuts drive through and then from there i'm planning to go to target because i want to get a few things i'm probably gonna bake a cake today so stay tuned for that all right guys i'm in the drive through hopefully they don't see me vlogging this because it's kind of embarrassing all right i'm in the drive through Dunkin Donuts drive through Let's see. Thank you for Hi, can you give me a second, please? All right, hello? I can help you. So, can I get a small pink velvet signature latte? Okay. Iced? Can I get it iced? Okay. And can I also get a brownie batter donut? We actually don't have any. You don't have any? What they are very limited on our uh, What about the Cupid's choice? Yes. Yeah? Can I get one of those, please? Okay. So those are the only Valentine flavored ones? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'll get that. And that'll be all. Give Alright, thank you. Alright, everyone. I'm out of the drive-thru. So I got... The, this is the pink red velvet macchiato, I believe, or latte. I forgot what I said. Oh, it says iced iced latte small original pink velvet. So that's what that is. And then I got the this pink heart donut. They did have the brownie one. They said they were like limited on it. So I got this one. So I'll try it for you guys right now. I'm excited. I like red velvet. Tastes like a regular macchiato. Maybe I should mix it a little more. Just tastes like a regular latte. I mean macchiato. Just tastes like coffee. I'm really trying to taste the red velvet, but I don't taste it. But it's still really good. Duncan does have really good coffee, so it's really good. Alright, now time to taste this. I forgot the name. What it was called? Oh, Cupid's Choice. This is the Cupid's Choice Donut. So I'm going to try that. Let's see. Mmm. It's good. Let me try it again because the uh, the frosting has a certain taste, but let me taste it. Let me taste it again. I don't know what it is, but it's really good. Yes, it tastes like in a like a oh, typical donut, but 
it's a little crunchy because of all the sprinkles but it's good I mean I don't always get donuts but when I do I try to enjoy them so yeah mmm it has custard in the middle can't even see it look it has custard Oh, that's what it is. I can't put my finger on it, but it tastes so familiar. It's really sweet. I don't know what it is guys but the custard in the middle tastes so familiar but I don't know what it is it's probably just because it tastes like custard but that was good all right guys I'll save that for later I really like the macchiato it's probably because I haven't had coffee in such a long time well I haven't had Starbucks because I actually, that's one of my resolutions this year, is to not drink Starbucks, and I haven't. So, that's good. Um, so, this is Dunkin', it's not Starbucks, and it's really good. I think I like the flavor more than Starbucks. Right. That was delicious. Now, let's go to Target, because I need to get a few things, and we'll see what I get up to. So, I need two of these. But I don't know which one. I think I'm going to do milk chocolate. And then I need, I think I'm going to do two chocolate fudges instead. Yeah. So let's put that there. Put that up. And there we go. It is so hot outside. I'm wearing all black. Yeah, perfect day to wear all black. And yeah, so I just finished from Target. As you can see, there's Target right there. So I got a few goodies. I got a birthday card for my uncle because they're throwing him a surprise birthday party tomorrow. So I got that. I wanted to make a chocolate cake for Valentine's Day. So um, what I'm going to do is chocolate bunch. So like a just regular chocolate cake but in the middle there's gonna be a twist and there's gonna be brownie in the middle of the cake and then the filling is going to be marshmallow cream let's see how this goes it's probably gonna be really sweet and my family doesn't really like a lot of sweet they like sweet but they complain when I make something really sweet so let's see if they end up liking it and then it's just gonna be covered in chocolate fudge frosting so that's what I got from Target it was really quick anyway let's go home and start baking this cake all right everyone so I am back home and I am ready to make this super moist chocolate fudge cake and then I have my brownie mix over here but first I am going to do this so I need one and a quarter cups of water, half cup of vegetable oil, and three large eggs. I'm gonna go get the scissors. Half cup of vegetable oil. One and a quarter cups of water. Three eggs. Let me put my whisk on. Lock it. And ready, set, stir. Alright, so since I'm going to be making a three tiered cake, that's what I want to do. I'm going to use two tins for my chocolate moist cake mix. Let me just get some. I should have put my hair up. 
So now I'm going to pour this into the tin evenly. Okay guys, the cake is in the oven, so it's time to make the chocolate brownies. So this one's going to be heated in 350 Fahrenheit, and bake time is 15 minutes. So this morning, my, ooh, I think the cake is ready. So this morning, my mom surprised me with a Valentine's Day balloon. I mean, she always gives us like a little gift for Valentine's Day. So she gave us a balloon and she gave me a box of chocolates. More sweets, oh my gosh, I swear. Today, it's like another Halloween, right? Can we just talk about how frizzy my hair looks right now? Oh my goodness. Ooh, look at that. I love chocolates, but the one thing I hate about it is that I break out, which is sad. Ooh, these are good. I'm not going to eat all these. It's too sweet. <gasps> look at that. I like these because, like, they're an assortment. So, so let's go check on the cakes because it's going to burn. Let me tie this right here. Oh, this is cute. Here, I'll show you guys what I'm doing right now. So my aunt gave me this hand a while ago. And I always kept it. It was actually purple. But I spray painted it when I remodeled my room. I spray painted it gold. So look what I did. This is the hand. And I tied it on the wrist. I tied the balloon on the wrist. Isn't that cute? All right, guys. So the cake is ready. So I'm gonna take them out. The brownie still needs like a few minutes. So let me take out the cake. That is hot. I felt my eyebrows dry up. They're still there, right? All right. All right, everyone. So I came to. Okay, guys. It's a little bit later. So I already finished baking the cake and brownie the brownie um it, it kind of got burnt from the top so i just picked up my brother from school it's lunchtime, so we decided to go get some wing stop we're gonna go get some wings for valentine's day hearted wings hearted <laughs> yeah they're special the special for valentine's day is hearted wings so all our wings are gonna come out as hearted so yeah do I recommend well it's already Valentine's is over so I don't think they'll have it tomorrow alright wink stop here we come oh look you can see in the back how to go senor have a nice day you know the drink I want right yeah icy iced tea sweetened taste do you guys have a TikTok? Because I made one, but I don't really use it. But I love um, watching the videos on there. They're so funny. So funny. Did you just throw that in the back? Yeah, it's nothing in there. Anyway, we just got our wing stop. We're not gonna eat in the car because it's really hot, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Amir! I got sweet tea. This is raspberry! Okay, go get a spray. You want a spray? Yeah. Ew! <coughs> raspberry tea? Okay, don't touch my drink. This is in Starbucks. Thank you. They didn't much. have black tea. Okay, let me show. Oh, Lakers! Don't eat any fries. I'm not gonna eat anything. 
so we got our wing stop here. We got the same thing. Oh, these guys are so good. Give this video a thumbs up if you like wing stop over Buffalo Wild Wings. Oh, <laughs> thank you, my Starbucks order. Ooh, Sprite, thank you. All right, guys, I am back. So it's been like a couple hours already. So we got home, we ate. So my cake has finally cooled down and it's time to decorate it. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do right now. So let me show you guys what I have. So the brownies that I made got a little burnt because I put them in a different oven and the oven was smaller. So I guess the top cooked a little more than the bottom. It cooked faster, so it burnt. But it tastes good. So let me show you guys what I have set up. All right, so I have the two cakes over here. And then this is the brownie. I tried, um, I tried taking off the burnt parts. That's why it looks like this. But anyway, so here I have the marshmallow filling. And then I have the chocolate fudge frosting that I'm going to put on top. So let me show you guys me decorating the cake. So I'm just going to decorate on this and then I'll put it on my cake mantle thing. So let me start off with the base. I'm going to make this the base. Ooh, it's very moist. So I'm going to frost it. <laughs> it's going to get messy. to put my burnt brownie in the middle because this is the filling oh, it came apart <laughs> all right guys this cake is falling apart i shouldn't have put marshmallow because now it's falling <laughs> guys this cake is not gonna stay up all right guys we're gonna take off the brownie part is this blindfolded or like <laughs> this is a blindfolded cake challenge guys baking challenge this is what happens when you think you could do anything all right the worst cake ever <laughs> Guys, honestly, I don't bake like this. My cakes actually come out really good. <laughs> but because I want to try something new, this is what happens. So, guys, this is embarrassing, but I had to throw away the cake because it was just falling apart. It wasn't staying up. So I just threw it all away. And next time, I'll just follow a recipe and not just make up a cake recipe out of my head. So, yeah, that's Valentine's Day for you guys. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is going to be the end of the video. If you have watched this far, I give you kudos. <laughs> um, give yourself a pat on the back because I can't do that for myself right now. Um, <laughs> I can't believe that happened. I honestly have this picture in my head that the cake was going to come out so good, like so chocolatey and with the marshmallow in the middle. Okay. It wasn't going to fall apart. It actually looked like a landslide. Like that's how it looked. But then I remembered that I'm not good at baking. And I'm glad I reminded myself. <laughs> okay, I don't know where this video is going. Anyway, um, so I just want to say thank you for watching. And happy Valentine's Day. What a great Valentine's Day it was. And um, give this video a thumbs up. And leave a comment of your favorite part of this video. Alright, bye guys. See you in my next video.